Yeah, exactly right, Laura. Today was going to be our coldest day of the week for the rest of the week heading into the weekend. We are going to see a little bit warmer outlook, so at least getting our highs back into the 60s tomorrow afternoon. Still going to be a, a relatively cold start. We're expecting temps down into the 30s, so you will need that jacket for the first part of the day. Saturday, you can see our temperatures just gradually continue to warm. We're likely going to see low temps only in the upper 40s by daybreak Saturday, and afternoon highs should actually hit the 70s once again, so definitely going to start feeling a little bit different for us heading into the first half the weekend. The changes heading our way is all thanks to our next incoming cold front. So we're going to be ahead of that front for the next couple of days, and that's why our temperatures will be going up. Uh, despite that, still going to be a little bit cool out there tomorrow morning. So if you are going to be up, I would say between 5 and 9 a.m., we're going to be in the 30s and 40s for the first part of the day. Nice afternoon, though. You can see cloud cover will be moving in, so not quite as much sunshine expected tomorrow as what we did see today. Saturday still looks mostly dry for us. I would say I would 85% of us should stay completely dry during the day. Saturday. If we do see any rain, it most likely would be north of I-20 up towards the lake. That's where that threat does look highest Saturday afternoon. You can see our temperatures across the area that will be much warmer, most likely at least into the 70s. This particular model may be a little bit too warm with those highs uh, getting up to 75, 76. Now this is Sunday. This is when our cold front shows up. This is going to be a very slow moving front, so this is a little bit different setup than last weekend. I think this will give us a better opportunity for rainfall and potentially even some thunderstorms, especially the later we kind of time out this rain moving into the day. So if we time it for the afternoon, that would give us time to heat up. You can see temperatures ahead of that rain hitting the mid, maybe upper 70s. That would be enough to kind of add some energy to our atmosphere and maybe produce a stronger storm or two. So we are monitoring that threat heading into the weekend, uh, mainly for Sunday afternoon that will clear out by Sunday night and then we are back to dry weather by Monday. So Sunday's not looking great for getting outside. Not only do we have the chance for rain, it is also going to be a pretty windy day. We're expecting those gusts to get up to around 30 miles an hour at times, even away from thunderstorms, especially when the main front does push through a little bit later into the day. So outdoor plans. I try to get them in on Saturday if you can. Here's a look at our future wind gust speed. So not really going to see too breezy of conditions the next couple of days. Winds generally less than 15 miles an hour. But watch what happens when this front gets closer towards a Sunday starting early in the morning, gusting over 20. But once the main front shows up, that's when we're going to see those gusts a little bit closer to 30 uh, miles an hour, and that's going to continue into our Sunday night. Now that uh, northwest wind, that's what's going to be bringing back the cold air for us by early next week. So Monday, Tuesday, we're back dropping below average and see those nights back below freezing by Monday night. A congressional hearing is holding campus.